everybody. Welcome Mo here. Welcome to another edition of Mo's Mining Musings. Heading out to FOMA tonight. Let's show you how the big boys roll. This is actually a really bad idea. Um, mined it a couple times already and it's... <laughs> there's, there's really nothing out there to mine markup wise with garbage. Uh, the only real reason to go out there is just to do a little gambling and hope to hit a real nice big hoff. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Um, don't do this at home. In fact, I wouldn't even recommend going out there. The only real good mining right now is probably uh, our planet Arcadia. But I've been running bad there, so I'm a little frustrated. I need a change of venue. I need a new casino, you know? Sometimes you just got to change casinos. Duh. So, anyways, I'm just flying out there, folks. I will see you when I get there. Peace. Hey, everybody. Uncle Mo here. Coming at you from the FOMA asteroid. I'm at the bar, of course. I'm trying to get a Bloody Mary. I, I got a pretty decent hangover. I, I just got hammered last night on Coors Light and Jaeger Bombs and was mining my ass off here. And uh, it turned out to be the best run I've ever had uh, with the biggest hits I've ever had. Um, for all of you that don't know, FOMA is an asteroid that has some biodomes where you can mine in. It's really high risk mining, you, you don't find any small claims and the size uh, of your mining finder is greatly reduced and it's, it's really just a place to come and gamble is what it is um, I wouldn't recommend coming here uh, on a regular basis um, but I decided uh, to give it a shot last night and uh, just came out hugely ahead um, it uh, Hit my first four-figure half, got a nice zinc, uh, which was worth 16.38, um, and that was that kind of capped off the night. It was it was going really well before that. I think I got my name on here like six times, folks. It's it was a huge evening. It ended up being six halves plus two more globals, and I don't know how many more larges. Um, so huge evening uh, again. <sighs> The markup here is just awful. Uh, if you're using amps on top of it, you're you're gambling. You're just straight up gambling at that point. You you're not going to come out ahead. Uh, the best mining right now is on Arcadia. Um, you can amp in some places, uh, but if you're wearing amps, you're probably better off. And uh, check out my last video on when I think you should amp. I, I came up with a little system that has some percentages. Uh, you know, if you're hitting 30, 35 percent out in Arcadia, then uh, there's some times when it's probably okay to go ahead and start using an amp at that point. Uh, out here, you, you can't use those percentages. Your hit rate's going to be like three percent. Uh, so you can go, you can drop 100 ped and bombs and not find anything, uh, and then it'll just start hitting. It hits in little clumps, and that's that's the point when you want to start just jamming in an amp, do a few bombs. Um, and if it, if it doesn't work out right in that little location, you take that amp right out and keep going. Find yourself a new dome if you have to. So, uh, if you're going to do it, that's how you do it. Keep your losses to a minimum. I'm big on that. Um, I ended up with, I made like 3,000 ped profit. Uh, which on top of that, I'll, I'll get a 329 ped markup. Um, which is good because I think I'll use a teleporter to get down to Calypso from here. Uh, it's going to cost me 25 ped to use that, um, but I think at this point it's justified, unless I can find a mothership that's coming here and, and get off kind of cheap, but risk-free, you can take a, a teleporter from here down to Calypso for 25 ped, but you've got to have, to, to justify paying that, you've got to have a shitload of ore and matters on you, so you really got to build it up. I ended up using about 412 ped with the uh, probes and 650 ped worth of amps and uh so yeah I, I mean i came out here with 150 dollars worth of worth of equipment just to kind of throw it at the rock and see what it comes out and uh it ended up being really good uh, it's not the norm uh, last night is definitely not the norm this place can just eat you alive and uh so what i did uh i i was just gonna throw up the parts where it was good but i decided uh, the other footage was <laughs> Good enough. Um, so I'm going to compile all the domes footage together for you, 
And what I'm going to try to do is when I get to the comments and get it finally uploaded, I will get to the times uh, where you can kind of fast forward for those of you that want to get to the good stuff. And uh, for those of you that just want to watch the whole thing, you can do that too. So um, enough of that. Let's get on to the footage here. I think I started in, uh, who knows, Dome 5, pretty sure. All the, all the domes, origin and matters are listed online, so you, you know exactly what you're getting into. And it's, it's nothing great. It's a lot of oil, a lot of just low markup crap. And then there's some stuff that will have a markup of 115, 120. We're really trying to hit big on that. So uh, my big hit zinc is selling for like 106 right now. So uh, not not too great, but uh, man, what a night. It doesn't happen like that often. But uh, when it hits up here, it does hit. It's like a, it's just like a damn slot machine, and it lights up. So uh, enjoy the footage. If you can get through all of it, I, I don't know how long it's going to end up being, but uh, it's going to be a good size, uh, good size video. Again, I'll try and get you some times to to fast forward if you just want to watch a little bit of it. All right. Uh, good to see you all. Next vid. Look for a little crafting. I finally lost enough ped and crafting that I feel comfortable enough to talk about it. So we'll see you all then. Bye bye. All right, we made it without getting pulled over and everything, which is always nice. We're on foam here, folks. Uh, Club Never Die, formerly known as. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the asteroid that was. It's made headlines before for being formerly the most expensive piece of property online, made-up property ever purchased. Uh, but uh, you can, it's right here. This is uh, Calypso over here. This is Planet Arcadia, where I spend most of my time. Uh, so we had to fly out uh, right to here. Uh, if you want to fly down uh, from FOMA to Calypso, you can do that. That's a pretty short trip. Uh, otherwise, you can take a teleporter down for 25 ped. Really expensive. Um, and the reason I mention that is that uh, the minerals here are very low markup. Uh, it's really not a good idea to mine here, uh, other than if you just feel like gambling and you want to try and hit a nice hoff. All right. Um, uh, yeah, high high markup uh, ores and minerals here are very hard to come by. You're gonna find a lot of oil, a lot of sweet stuff, a lot of listerium, things like that that just don't sell for quite a bit of a markup. Um, and trying to get those transported from here to somewhere where they'll sell, like Calypso, when you have to pay 25 ped, just isn't worth it. So usually you end up trading, selling all these minerals and whatnot to a trader. Um, at any rate, I'm going to start us off with Dome 5. I'm still going to mine unamped to get us started. Now, I gave us some rules in the last video when mining Arcadia about when to amp, when I think you should amp. And there are kind of guidelines that are designed to really reduce your losses. Uh, whatever you mine with an amp, it's really a losing money deal. In fact, if you want to go your whole mining career without mining amped, that, that's just fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it, it's probably more profitable in the wrong long run, but you're going to end up losing out. Uh, and you won't hit as many globals and hops, all right? No, that's an issue for a lot of people. I think to keep in mind here, uh, I'm using a finder. If you have a radius, uh, the finder here I'm using is normally a radius of... 55 meters. Uh, when you get up to here, it's reduced to 22 meters, and uh, that's that's more than half, folks. It's it's actually a reduction of 84 percent of the area that you can scan. So obviously, we're just going to be walking along and dropping bombs at a much faster rate than you might normally expect. All right. Um, I'm still starting out unamped, which uh, I'm comfortable with. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, you're here to gamble, you might as well mine amped anyways. Uh, that, that's fine, I get that, but uh, I, I still want to see something before I throw in an amp, you know, some sort of hit. And here, uh, Planet Arcadia, you might get a 30% hit rate on average, 25-30%. Here it's more like 3%, and I even even have it reduced. Uh-oh, got a little merp after me. I did come armed. 
some of these domes have little annoying mobs, and this is one of the specialty mobs, by the way. I think they dropped something. That's ah, a promotional mob, I forget exactly. Uh, what they dropped, it's special. Not that. <laughs> Not animal oil. There's a promotion out there. You can read up on the forums for it. So yeah, nothing so far. This is a much more tedious form of mining. I'm down to just mining mineral ores here in, in Dome 5. There's The end manners are just really awful. I think it's like oil and sweet stuff and milky crystal. Nothing nothing worth writing home about. Uh, there is some uh, uh, Gazardite and uh, Calderite here that uh, does sell for a markup, so we're going after that. Done well in this dome before. Yeah, just straight up gambling. I'm going to give you all the guys a hell video here pretty soon, too. Um, some people probably argue that I have no business with my skills being here. I'm, I'm in the mid-teens as far as my mining skills, so... I got a mob after me somewhere. Ooh. So yeah, this is, uh, this is FOMA. At some point, they're going to have to redo this to, to kind of, well, you know, players just mine the hell out of this thing. As far as, as lousy as the returns are, and if you look at the Hoff boards, they're just constantly ringing up here. People love to mine here. And the thing uh, that they love is that uh, you're just not going to get... Uh, any tiny, very small, very poor, poor type finds, right? It's either all or nothing here. And that's great, but if you're mining amped and hitting nothing, <laughs> then you're amplifying nothing. Uh, so it's a, it can really eat up your bankroll. I don't even recommend being here. But if you're going to do it, do it unamped for starters. Uh, I was going to throw an amp if I get any kind of a hit. Yeah, a little mob on me here. Fishing hunting there for you. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, I wish I could spice this up for you guys. It's uh, it's a little tough. I mean, you just you just aren't hitting anything, you know. If Dome 5 doesn't work out here, I'm going to take you all to Dome 14. That's a pretty good one. There, there's about 20 domes in all. Uh, they're, they're listed online as far as all the minerals that they drop and it matters. A couple of them are PvP domes, which... Uh, I avoided those. There's an iron hit. People just make hits here all day, but... Uh, don't let you don't let that be full yeah they're, they're spending a lot of money to get those all right so far our hit rate is zero <laughs> this is really bad guys it's gonna be time to move on imagine if we're amped you know we're just sucking up an amp not even hitting anything. Oh! Oh! Now we got an unamped Listerium. 
And I forgot to bring some rock, breaker, rock rippers back from Arcadia, so I'm using an RE-103. Not sure how eco that is, I'll have to look it up. So, average is, eh, it's probably one of the smallest claims you're going to find here. I'm trying to think, I think I'd find a modest before, which is just below that. Smalls and below, I don't think you're going to find any of them. It's kind of like playing video poker, you know, where they don't pay any anything from one pair up to a flush. It's just full houses and above, <laughs> you know. Wouldn't that be a hell of a payout for video poker? I'm sure somebody will come up with that one day. But it can get tedious because, uh, you know, when you're when you're mining uh, on an Arcadia, you're just used to getting hits constantly. And here you're just not going to see very much. Time to leave this down. Uh, I'm gonna give it a couple more drops, but uh, hey, it's not hitting. It's not hitting. You know, you pick up like any other mining place. Uh, just get out of there. You know, move on. Most of the domes have the low level mobs, uh, you don't have to worry about them too much. Some of them do have some higher mobs and they'll actually come out here to hunt, I guess. Alright folks, we're going to see you in dome 14, alright? Alright folks, we're in dome 14. Uh, I'm looking for some Narcanism or Ignisium ingots. Uh, it matters here are still pretty lousy, but you can find there, there's some leaf gel. You can go for that if you want to turn on it matters here. It's, it's probably a little bit all right. Hit rate in dome five is pretty lousy, so uh, hopefully we're going to switch that up. Again, I'm just uh, just looking for a hit of some sort. Uh, if, if I can hit something that's a decent size, I'll probably throw in an amp and just kind of mine around it a little bit. And uh, I notice a lot of the hits here are kind of clumped together. All right. Uh, so if you find something, it's a good idea probably to just uh, kind of comb the area right around that hit. All right. got to find some in the first place, though. That's kind of the hard part. Again, from a dome 14, 20 domes, there's a main arena. I believe one of the domes is up for sale right now. I want to see it's dome... Uh, eh, don't quote me on that. Somebody was offering 350,000 ped for it. <laughs> so that's 35 grand. That's a little chunk of change there. That's a hell of an investment, you know, especially if you're getting into a dome that doesn't offer particularly good wars and net manners or mobs to farm. And I, I don't know what the procedure is for Mindark changing all that. I, I, I'm not sure how much control you have over it, but I don't think they give you very much. Yeah, big zero so far.
Yeah, this, this is probably going to turn out to be a bit of a longer video uh, where you're not seeing anything very exciting. But at least it's going to give you a good, honest look at foam mining. Uh, this is this is it. Not going to find any of the small stuff. We're just waiting to find that big global, that big hoff, or a nice find where I can throw in an amp and mine around it, which is, by the way, probably a bad idea. The amping here is certain to lose money, but you know, you're really just gambling to to get your TT value back. Just want that nice find. Here comes a modest iron. Where did I say? Yep, modest. Again, modest is probably the smallest you're going to find. We are mining on amp right now, so at least our losses are minimal. So we did find a little something here, so we'll just go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and comb this spot a little bit. You get a perception gain out of that. A lot of, a lot of miners go off of uh, perception gains on whether or not they should mine a particular area. And for all you that don't know what that is, there's a little skill called perception, and you'll see it get a little increase over there. A lot of people think uh, if you hit a perception gain, then you're around something big. I personally think there's nothing to it. But uh, you never know. Until somebody cracks the uh, ultimate uh, loot percentages guide, everybody's just going to guess until then. Got a modest caldera right here. It's, I ran into some small stuff. But we are hitting a little bit all of a sudden. Gonna grab this real quick. We found a couple things uh, for fun. I've got a video going. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw in a level 5 amp here and just kind of spot mine around this area and see what happens. See if we can't get into something a little bigger. Definitely could use a half at this point. I'll just give it a few, you know, a good four or five whacks around here with the amp in. And then I'll probably pull it right out. It's a, it's a conservative way to mine. I know a lot of guys, they just go through here and they just have the amp in constantly. And uh, as you can see, that can really, really build up some losses quickly. But if you're hitting, you're going to hit some nice stuff. Amping up in here, the, the claims are already big. Um, so they're, they're just going to get bigger, obviously. Hope these bits of wisdom are helping out, folks. <laughs> this is just a bad idea being here. But again, it's popular. People like being here. Just not finding anything else right now.
this one with our amp in. We're going to take it out and just head to the other side of the dome, give it a quick try. And then we're going to just get out of this area because it's not hitting. Yeah, the times you should be mining with an amplifier in are very, very few and far between. Uh, it's just the, the extra markup you're going to pay on it, it just isn't worth it. Uh, especially out here where there's no markup virtually. A lot of the hits you're going to get out here are going to be Listeria, Iron, real low markup type things, but we're hoping to get lucky, hit a little Calderite maybe, a little Narconism. So it gets old to see it. No resources found constantly. Oh, perception hit here. Ooh, that means we're going to hit a off, right? Yeah, we'll see. Right now, I just sell for a couple hits here. Just get uh, a few humble returns, you know? Uh, this is probably way longer than I should be spending in this dome, but it does have some good markup stuff. We are only marking uh, hunting for ore right now, so you're not going to get as many hits if the end manners turned off. Zero. I should, I should almost put this to music here just to give you guys something to listen to. Right now, the only thing we're listening to is a bunch of, bunch of no resources found sound. Not fun. All right, last bomb in there. And I don't know what you guys are thinking, oh, this guy sucks at mining, whatever. Uh, we are mining a little bit conservative, no amps. And again, amps doesn't mean you're going to find more claims. It just means whatever you do find is going to be bigger. So the zeros we've been getting uh, is just what we've been getting. Eh? There's, there's no way around it. So uh, the dome we're in is just not running hot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video at this point and go look for a different dome for us. See if we can't hit something a little better. Be right back. And we're back up in Dome 11 here, folks. Uh, looking for a little bell car. Uh, I'm also going to turn Antmatters on. There's a little Elysium gel. Uh, a little Calderite in here. Let's see if we can't do a little. Uh, the first dome's have just been awful. Ugh. Uh, again, we're unamped right now. Just looking to get some hits. And uh, if I can get a hit or two, I will throw in an amplifier and kind of bomb that area. Uh, I personally think uh, in here, so far from what I've seen, my limited time in here, that uh, everything's kind of bottled up. So once you find a hit, you'll find a few more right around there. I'm going to get hit by, attacked by a mob. I don't know if I can take this one out. I did come armed. Maybe you'll leave me alone. I'm just trying to mine here. It's a mining on Calypso. Ugh, what a nightmare that is. When you start off from Arcadia, 
just a big difference. Uh, I mean, Calypso is basically just covered in mobs, so you're constantly having to just fly around, and and if you're mining an area, you got to make sure that uh, you're going to be able to get your claim that you're mining for. It's a real pain in the ass. Arcadia has much more wide open, empty spaces, no mobs, and you can just kind of mine. You know, with impunity, you don't, really don't have to think about it. Done a little bit of crafting. Uh, Got, uh, I got a lot of opinions on that. I uh, still want to interview a couple crafters before I do a video on that, but I'm going to do that soon. Um, uh, basically, I've, I've lost enough pet on it that I feel I can <laughs> talk about it intelligently now. Uh, i got a small claim here. I don't know what it's going to be, folks. You can always tell the claim sizes is by the time it takes to get them out of the ground. But we did hit something here. Let's see what we got. A little iron. Iron's been running tonight. Iron's a big thing to hit around here. But it is a claim, so we'll just go ahead and... Uh, I'm not going to amp up for iron, but uh, we'll go ahead and just uh, drop a few bombs right in the general vicinity. See if there's not something else. Uh, I gotta be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna put this on YouTube. This is gonna be probably like two hours of the most boring footage ever. Yeah, looks like that iron is kind of a loner. Yeah, this is getting kind of depressing. Tough to mine out here, folks. You really got to be patient. When it starts hitting, though, it's like uh, it's like grease lightning, you know? Fun. Uh, but I, I warn you, you're going to lose a lot of money out here. You can get lucky. You can hit some big stuff, and it'll be fun. But uh, overall, this is not the place to be to do smart gambling. Er, mining. No resources found. Well, this dome's not working out for us, folks, so we're going to drop a few more and head to the next one. I'm going to find one that's hidden. I don't know, the best thing for you, though, might be just for me to put up a two-hour video of nothing. Make sure you guys never come here. <laughs> this is just awful. I really, it does get fun if you find big stuff, but man. Nothing found. Alright, folks, I'm going to research another dome for you. Be right back. Be right back in dome 12, folks. Uh, you got a warrant manager turned on. Uh, a little Elysium gel in here, which has a little bit of a markup and 
I just want to try and get some hits. I'll show you guys a few, few sizable things here. Still going to start out unamped. Uh, just have not hit anything tonight at all. I'd say my hit rate's been in the one percent range when it should be three or four percent. But uh, we're just going to struggle on doing foam and mining. This is it, grinding the ultimate grind. I guess the other grinding is if you're on a kitty, you're grinding out little double eyes and triple eye spots. I got an average in milky water. I'm going to try and pick this up as quick as possible. Nothing exciting, but it is a hit, so I'm just going to kind of circle around this area a little, little bit real quick and see if there's any anything to go with it. Come on. This will pick up quick. Uh, milky water just takes forever to pick up. That and oil. Ugh. It's, it's almost worth it to turn <laughs> manners off just for those. Okay, let's move on. Drop a few bombs around this area. Uh, mobs, we got some level 21s. I'm not going to get anywhere near those. So I better avoid those. I, I'm just not uber enough go after that. I mean mobs out here are just kind of weird anyways. I can't remember the last time I saw a mob hoff on FOMA. It's, it's like they almost just have to have it in the game to annoy people. I don't know. Again, yeah, did find a little hit, so we're just going to mine around that just a little bit, just to see if there's a little bit of a vein around. Just not finding anything yet. That's right, got to be patient. First thing I'll probably find is probably some big iron deposit. Not so far away, and haven't globaled yet. Definitely losing money at this point, and that's unamped. Imagine if we were amped, folks. Amping zero. Well, some people are hitting out here. And you're hot, you're hot, right? Pretty high taxes out here, folks. That's another thing. I always leave the mark of lousy. Hey, there's an ample something. Not only is a mark of lousy, but you also got to pay 5% tax and up to 550 on a lot of these things. Ample Ignisium. That's what we're looking for, folks. All right. I'm awake a little bit. I'm so excited. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a level 5 amp and just kind of bomb around this thing and just see if we can't get a little bit lucky, folks. Uh, hopefully there's another Ignisium. That's, that's a pretty good markup on that. Let's see what's in the area. Oh, there's a couple of mobs in the area. i got to 
kind of mine, mine around this thing and hope not to get, get any aggro. You will find yourself in a spot where you'll get a claim sometimes. You just can't get the damn thing out. You have to keep summoning it. Okay. So in this direction, I'm going to try a little different direction here. See if we can get stay close to that previous find. Just see if I can find a little something something. Sources found. Yeah, I'm just not finding very much around here, folks. Last try with the amplifier. Hey! All right. Apparently, you just gotta threaten the game. <laughs> what do we got here? Substantial iron. What is that worth? 172 ped. Eh, we found something, folks. So that'll work. Um, I'm not gonna suck that up on video. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of keep mining around here and see if I can't find just a couple more finds. We're gonna leave the amp in. In fact. What I'm going to do is take out the level 5 and throw in a level 8. And I don't use these level 8 amps very much, folks. Um, but when I do start running into a couple things, uh, I basically give myself a good 4 or 5 pulls on it. Just to see if I'm really running hot. So we'll go ahead and just give ourselves, uh, you know, three, three, four, or five, depending on how it goes. If I get skunked, I'll, I'll go ahead and take it right out. They're, they're just so damn expensive. But uh, let's see if we can't find just a one more hit right around here. Nothing on the first one. There's a mob there. These mobs here are annoying. I don't know why they're out here. Here's another try with an 8 amp. A lot of guys are like, oh, why don't you just leave the damn thing in? I, the thing degrades so fast, you're just going to lose so much money so quick, folks. Um, Again, if you were just unamped, you'd probably be all right. And since we're in the video, I'll give it two more tries here. We'll do one here. Let's see if we can get up north a little bit, closer to our original claim. One more with the level eight, and it's coming out. Nothing found, so I'm uh, get, going to get that level 8 out. I'm going to throw the level 5 amplifier back in for three more hits. And if uh, we don't hit anything, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits in this dome. Looking good yet. Yeah. 
All right, I'm going to kind of weave around this mob here. Drop one more around our original uh, Ignisium Ample. See if we can get some. Again, yeah, this isn't a great run. Uh, this will probably be a break even run. Just skunked. Yeah, usually these hits come uh, one after another. Not looking good so far. So I'm going to make my way back over to this iron and scoop it up. I'll go ahead and give you one more hit here in the meantime on the level 5 amp. And then it's on to the next dome unamped. And let's see what that thing offers. Well, that's it for this time. I'm going to suck up uh, the substantial, and uh, we'll go ahead and see you in the next dome, all right? Take care, folks. Welcome, folks. We're in Dome 1 here in FOMA. And congrats to Stain Zeus Slamador. 3,488 ped. And milky water, not a great markup, but uh, it's always nice to hit a nice big off like that. We're in Dome 1, a little Alice Gel here, uh, so we're going to go ahead and mine for Ants and Ore. And again, we're going to start off unamped. And if I can just catch a hit, and we're going to go ahead and throw in some amps and mine around that, that initial claim there. I tend to think they kind of bunch up a little bit, so let's we'll see what we can go ahead and hit over here, folks. Been a slow night so far. I hit a substantial iron earlier. Uh, so I think that, that about got me even. <laughs> Is it an idea? It's, it's really expensive to mine over here. You're just constantly dropping probes and hitting nothing. When you do find stuff, the markup is shit. Do yourself a favor, don't come out here. Ooh, Zeus is hot. 119 ped Gazardite. And it just happens like that. When you're hot in here, bam, you just start hitting globals and hops one after another. When you're cold, uh, it, it is ice cold, folks. You don't hit a damn thing. Your hit rate can be 1%. Using a little big mining log, uh, I want to make sure if you're using that to set your mining finder at uh, 22 or whatever the reduced range is, uh, the radius uh, that uh, your area covered with your mining finder is much, much less. Uh, reduces to 84% as a matter of fact. So you're looking at this dome, it's like this little tiny place to mine, but all the probes you're dropping just don't cover very much, so that's, that's how they make up for it. Here's a big dog. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can just see who this is here. Stain Zeus. Oh, probably in the same dome. How about that, folks? I might have just missed a hop by a few minutes. That's eh, the story of my life. Forget about it. But if this dome's running, we'll go ahead and give it a few pops. He's going to be there all night mining that up. It's going to take so damn long. Uh, level 37 mobs in here, and 
we're not going to mess with those. I need to just totally turn around here and go a different way. Sorry, folks. I did come with some ammo, some guns. I can handle the small stuff up here, but uh, uh, those big guys would uh, probably one-shot me, so we got to avoid them. much in this dome so far. I'm trying to find you guys a good one. I have a feeling it's been all kind of used up here. Not finding anything. Oh, I need to get out of this dome. This thing's hit a you're in a dome where it just just got hit by some other guy and it's like eh it doesn't mean anything, you can still hit it too, but it's like eh what's left, you know? That's gonna be a small claim of some sort. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. Ugh, oh, works next is great. Small! Fantastic. Well there's smalls in here, we know that now. That is pretty awful. At least I won't have to stand here all day to mine it, though, so that's good. Now, folks, I'm about done with this dome. I'm going to punch out here, see if I can find something that's a little more profitable, all right? Be right back. Ah, look at this. As soon as I had the video off, of course, I had an extremely large <laughs> calderite. Um, hey, 769 ped. I was right around that Force Nexus claim earlier, and... Uh, should have just kept the camera rolling. Damn. Did hit a couple uh, perception gains before that. Maybe there's something to this, folks. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this is my biggest hit ever. 769 ped calderite. Huge. Nice markup, too. So, really pleased with this, folks. Uh, I'm going to drop a few more bombs around here. Whew. That was big. Put in a level 5 amp for that. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Uh, I know a lot of the vets are probably like, oh, big deal, but it's like, yeah, I've never done that before, so. Let's drop a couple level eights around it here just to see if there's anything else. Calderite tends to hang out in groups here, so. Let's do a quick couple of checkups. Probably just do two or three hits here real quick, folks. Ooh, that's fun. Well, that's why people come out here. I, it's <laughs> it's so tough out here. Oh, I'm just pissed I didn't have the camera rolling. Oh, great color, right? See, folks, these things just... They just tend to clump on each other. Obviously, uh, there's there's a bunch around here, so I'm gonna try and just continue to hit. Um, oof! Yeah, nice. Sizable growth molecules. And this is when it gets fun. Of course, it's hard not to hit with this huge ass level <laughs> level eight amp in. But then again, if you're not hidden, you're not hidden, you know? Ah, let's put one right here. There's, there's damn mobs here. I'd love to go out a little farther there, but I just cannot afford to run into those guys. We'll go a little north from here. Yeah, one more for level maybe two more. Famous last words, right, folks? Yeah, 
that's getting too close. Too close to the miles. Anyways, folks, I'm going to go ahead and soak these up. I will be back on the next segment, all right? Bye-bye. Plentiful milky water. Boy, am I a bad videotaper or what? Just should have had all this rolling. Still in the same dome. This is a uh, dome. I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> uh, dome 1. Biodome 1. Running real nice here. Ooh, this is fun, folks. This is when it gets fun. Well, I'll be back. Uh, apparently shutting the camera off is good luck, so I'll see you all back in a bit. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, the hits just keep coming. And I'm not filming any of it, but I think it's kind of lucky. I'm just trying to get us out there. Now this is a vast, vast zinc worth 1,638 ped. Just having the night of my life, folks. This is the best night of mining I've ever heard of. This is really awesome. Uh, I was hoping to hit a four-figure, and I did it tonight. Uh, two largest claims tonight. This is uh, awesome sauce. <sighs> uh, you know, I, I, I've been I've been cleaning up, complaining online. I should have just kept the camera running, keep the camera running. But <laughs> I mean, obviously, this is the lucky way to do it. Just hit it and then film it after, right after, right? So, um, <sighs> wow. Uh, this is something else, and I've just been, just been hoffing all night. Um, I, I can't even, <laughs> I don't even want to go to bed. I've uh, been doing all this on just, uh, you know, like 400 worth of probes and 400 worth of mining amps. Um, I'll get you the totals later, but wow, vast zinc. Um, not a huge market, but uh, finally got the four-figured hoff, so. Uh, I, I can't wait to compile all this footage for you and just uh, show it off a little bit, folks. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, uh, thanks, uh, thanks all for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.